But I also did pick up a tip that I applied to myself and it really worked for me. Is I, I was watching an interview with Taika Waititi, actually, and he was talking about his writing process. How often have you been afraid to finish a screenplay? All the time. Uh, like, I feel like uh, with every screenplay, you know, you're always, I feel like there's always stages you go through, at least for me. This is my experience going through a screenplay. And usually it's like you have an idea and you're very excited about it and you start to put it all together and and you're thinking, yeah, this, this could actually be good. You've convinced yourself that it's going to be good. Uh, and then you start to write it. And when you start to write it, it's really exciting because you're like, oh, it's finally happening and I'm, I'm setting things up and you know, I got this character in here and I'm, I'm, I'm getting, it, getting it going. Uh, and then, you know, when you get to the end of the screenplay, you're also very excited because you're like, oh, I'm so close to the finish line. And, oh, like this is this is great. Uh, but, you know, in the middle, when you're in that middle slog of getting through a screenplay, uh, that's the point when you start to think like, uh, like, I don't know, is this idea actually that good? Like. I'm not sure if this is working the way that I intended it to work. Uh, and that's when you can start to have those fears of like maybe not wanting to finish something uh, or feeling like, uh, you know, I, I think maybe this isn't going to be worth the rest of my time to finish. So uh, for me personally, I think everything I write, I usually go through that, like, you know, experience or usually go through that, uh, that doubt. Uh, but but I always try to remind myself to like, you know, trust the process a little bit and think, you know, there's a reason why you were excited about this. There's a reason why you, start, you decided to start this. At one point, you know, a couple months ago, you felt like this was an amazing idea. Um, so just, you know, trust the process, you know, just keep going, get to the end. And, um, and you know, hopefully when you do finish it and you re read it back, you'll, you'll get excited about it again. So. Um, but yeah, back to your question. Uh, I think all the time I'm always like fearful of finishing a script because I'm always like, oh, is this thing going to be bad? With the wrestling script that you had option with your partner, was there a moment or, or were there times when the two of you didn't feel like, was it really worth it? Uh, yeah, there were there were times where I was like, oh, I don't really know if it was working or, or not. But um, maybe that one was a little bit different because that one we wrote together. So you have someone to kind of constantly talk talk it through. But other scripts that I've written, um, are, those ones are the ones where it's like, yeah, you, you only have that internal conversation with yourself. So those are the ones that are sometimes that can be a little harder to push through. Are there unfinished screenplays at your house? Uh, there, There's two types of unfinished screenplays. There's the unfinished screenplays that uh, I started way early in my career when I just started writing and and didn't really know what I was doing. So the, there's those, and then there's the ones that I'm currently working on that are unfinished, but they will be finished. So um, I think now I'm at the point where if I really do start to write something, uh, um, I definitely will finish it. Um, so I've kind of tricked myself into into getting into the the routine of of making sure that I get across that finish line. What do you find time to write since you're doing these music videos? Is it between each project? I know you've had some time off with the current pandemic, but... Yeah. Yeah, I think um, writing is just something that I've just kind of built into my schedule. Um, it's something I just try to do a few times a week. Uh, I mean, if I'm, if I'm busy, if I'm directing something or I'm on a project, like, you know, the week gets away from myself. And yeah, I, I, don't, I, don't, uh, I don't get mad if I can't write that day. It, it's okay. Um, but typically, you know, if I have a day off, um, I'm definitely in the morning writing for a few hours every day. Um, so it's it's just something I kind of just build into my routine. What does the inner dialogue sound like when doubt creeps in about finishing a screenplay? Oh, it, it sounds like oh, this is you know all, all the things. This is terrible. Uh, this 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 is not working. Uh, you know, this idea is really stupid. You know, you can say all those things. Uh, as you're writing and working on something and, and feeling like, what well, like why am I spending my time writing this thing? Like no one's gonna read this or, or you know, it's, it's, it won't be made or whatever it is. Um, but you know, they're, they're, just, they're just voices. They're just, it's just noise. Um, so you, you have to always kind of battle through that. Uh, and you know, if, you, if you're really struggling with something, 
uh, you can always get you know people to read it or you can talk to your friends or whoever about you know the idea and usually you'll get back you know positive feedback uh, or or if you, or if you're getting if you, if you think your your script is going astray or it's not working uh, you can talk talk to people about it and if it actually is doing pretty good and you're just kind of creating this own you know self-doubt in your head uh, you'll get realigned by your friends who are like no no this is pretty good so far or like maybe they'll read the first you know whatever first act and they're like no, no I really enjoyed it and so that, that that positive feedback can help sort of reset you can you talk about a time when fear won out and you did not finish a screenplay I think that there has been times that yeah I, I think I have had times where I'm, I'm writing something and working on an idea and for whatever reason you know you just get to a point where you you maybe it's not fear necessarily you know because I don't know if I'm like afraid of the potential of this idea or if it's that I'm afraid of of this idea not being uh, well received but but for whatever reason you're, you're you might be working on something you're just like yeah I just I don't know I'm just not as passionate about this screenplay as I used to be um, so so maybe it's not fear specifically uh, at least in the example that I'm thinking of for myself but uh, yeah I don't know is finishing things no matter what not not just a screenplay is that something that's always been instilled in you I don't know if I don't know if it's like necessarily like an adage that I subscribe to I think I've just probably I don't know where I got it or I got this soundbite but you know I've, I've heard someone say that it's like you know you know anyone can start writing a book or a screenplay or whatever but it takes you know real dedication to finish something um, and that's not to say that I'm like you know the the pillar of, of that you know platitude I, that you know I'm, I'm I always finish everything that I start but but I, I found that quote to be you know inspiring to myself and so I'm like yeah like that is true like it, it really does take a lot of work to actually finish something and that alone kind of makes it worth doing uh, because not a lot of people can uh, sit through it all the way so uh, I try to try to remind myself of that from time to time as I'm as I'm working if, that, if that's the thing that helps motivate me to keep going then I'll definitely uh, channel that idea how did you develop your writing routine it took a few years to figure out what kind of worked for me um, I used to be someone who would just power like you know or do like eight nine hour sessions and just keep going or I would write in the middle of the night because I felt like I was more creative then or whatever it was uh, but over time to me I, I found that um, the most productive thing for me to do was to have it be scheduled at the same time and to just do it for you know three or four hours max because after about three or four hours if I'm actually doing the work correctly um, I'm pretty spent after that like or, or I feel like there's diminishing returns after a while um, and, but I also did pick up a tip that I applied to myself and it really worked for me is I, I was watching an interview with Taika Waititi actually and he was talking about his writing process uh, and he was being you know uh, irreverent you know towards himself and self-deprecating and was talking about how he has ADD or whatever and he was like you know what really helps him is that he actually sets a timer on his desk um, and he writes in 20 minute windows so he We'll do a timer that's a, like you have to write for 20 minutes and there's no internet there's no checking your phone there's no whatever and then you get five minutes after that 20 minutes and you can do whatever you want you can browse reddit you can go on youtube you can go watch a film courage video whatever you want to do and then the clock goes back to 20 minutes and then you got to write again and then you can take another five minute break um, and i actually started doing that for myself and it was super super effective because uh, it, it just it just forces you to either stare at that blank page with a cursor blinking or you or you have to um, or, or you just you know start typing it's like you know because there, there's always that instinct to like pick up your phone when you don't know what to write next or you know you're, you're hung up on a word or a sentence or a line of dialogue and you know it can become very easy to tab over to a web browser and start you know looking up cat videos but uh, when you have this feeling of a timer that's telling you this is your time to write and you're not allowed to do anything else that little added pressure uh, 
is really helpful for avoiding distractions. Um, so that was something that he mentioned that he did. And ever since uh, I tried it out, I, I've definitely built that into my routine and it's worked really well. Was that his TED talk? Uh, you know, it might have been. Okay. I, I'm not really sure. It was It was definitely an interview of some kind that I mm. happened to catch. Um, and maybe it was a TED talk or maybe it was uh, just a, you know, talking behind the scenes or, or a promotion for a film that he did. Uh, I'm not really sure where it was that I saw that. It's interesting, too, because it almost reminds me of how some of these tech companies give people like an hour of free time mm. to be on the to, to surf the net and just just so they don't feel like they have to be stuck at their desk. And I'm wondering yeah. if we almost need that, like, because then we feel too like, OK, this is a chore. You have to do this. Yeah, actually, that's a great point, because there is that sensation of like, you know, we all do it. We all like go on whatever Facebook or Instagram and you all kind of noodle around while you're working. And then there's this feeling of a little bit of a guilt that you're procrastinating. Um, but if if you have these windows, these time slots where it's like, OK, 20 minutes of work and then now five minutes, you can do whatever you want. You can watch all the, you know, cat videos you want in this five minute time. It actually is very freeing and you get, you know, you give yourself that permission to procrastinate in that little window. Um, and yeah, I, I find it really helpful.